Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on The Witcher 3. Ugly baby. Tell the Baron, Sir Sergeant, you want to take Yuma. So let's go and get this underway. Hoping to finish this game up today. Not like in this episode, but in my recording session today. I have no idea how far out I am from beating it. But I really want to get into the Death March playthrough I'm going to be doing. Uh, so it would be nice to complete some of this crap before I... Uh, because I, I recorded the first three episodes of the Death March, uh, and then I've just kind of been waiting to finish this up. Uh, finished up Unity today, actually, so that's good. It's always good. So I'll be starting a new Let's Play of a different game soon. Maybe not let it might, I don't know. I'm just calling it Let's Plays. Be called the gameplay, walkthrough, guide, playthrough, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Need to talk to you. About? Uma. Gonna take him with me. Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Thing is, he ain't here. Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you. You can try to stop me. But that'd be an error. A mortal one. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. Alright, tell the person minding the stables that you are taking Yuma. Alright. Fuck. Is this the guy that I saved him? Really? Really? Geralt can only jump down like two inches because homie's got like I'm taking Uma. 90 year old there ain't a... Sergeant Hartle said I could bring him back though won't you be awful dull without him find something else to laugh at I don't know catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses huh? that one of your witcher games witcher versions different don't make me show you. <laughs> Open the door. Now. All right. Homies, we're taking you, my quest failed. Hey, little guy. This here is Roach. She'll take us to Kaer Morhen. Well, come on. Let's ride. What the? Quit playing around. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, you mo, let's get out of here. I'm feeling like I got at least like three more hours of playing this to beat it. And if I come across any more Gwent quests... You know your boy's got to do those Gwent quests. I wonder if Gwent is harder on the higher difficulties. Or I wonder if that's just a base difficult. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about the fact that Gwent may be harder on the higher difficulty. I need to go and buy the season pass for this game because this game is sick. I didn't buy it when I bought the game because I was... I didn't feel like spending the money right then and there. But I'll, I'll go do it probably on Friday. I'll just go blow my paycheck at GameStop, because I want to get Shadow of Mordor Game of the Year Edition, and uh, a couple other things. 
Looks like we got company. Elf Guardian battle mounts. What do you want? The Emperor's displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way. Why are we riding this slow, like? Why are we riding, like, like we don't have anything to do? Like, where, where are we going that we're going that slow? Alright, let's see what the king has to say. Let's see what this douchebag has to say. I ain't got time for his shit. I don't have time. Thought he wanted me to find Siri. Isn't that exactly what I'm doing? Doing exactly what he asked me to do. He's being a little douche McGruber about it. Why don't you just give me my space and, the third and let me do army this will shit. Sweep in from the west to take Banglin. If I may, Your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Banglin consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. <laughs> I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. As you wish, Your Majesty. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew, the aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this monstrosity? I hope you have more to say, for your sake. Listen, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack, a needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task, I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. I pursued those leads you gave me. Siri first reappeared in Skellige with a mage, an elf. Yen knows more. The Wild Hunt tracked them down, found them there. They were forced to flee to Velen. Where they were separated. Ciri spent some time with a local warlord, a self-styled baron who... Yes, yes, I know my vassals. Who helped her get to Novigrad, where Ciri crossed some of the city's underworld bosses. She had to flee, went back to Skellige, ran into her elf companion there. And into the Wild Hunt, again. Ciri and the elf fled, out to sea this time. Their boat returned to shore the next day, with only him on board. Hmm. The information appears of little use, though at least it seems you kept busy. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries, but to lift it I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that... Raphael Ellen, Kedmil Foli, Gladiv Dorn Eptened, Bandro Ithne Iacus. Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I, I believe I can. 
but I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. 2,000 crowns, not bad. Fine. This audience is over. Till the next. <clears throat> wow, that was worthless. Why, why the hell did he make me come back for that shit? So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here, probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morhen. Alright, to Kaer Morhen we go. All right, so load this up, see what's about to go down in Karamorin. Semi Vesemir is going to be a part of the story once again. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Oh, Calm yeah. down, Rose. This close to the fortress? Someone's been slacking off. There it is. Home sweet home. Home sweet home right there. away quite a while too long and your journey how was it calm if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back passenger got a little restless mm, what have we here Multiple deformities, eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair lip, and is this... <laughs> now, now, calm down. Yennefer was right on one count. Thing sure isn't pretty. Yen's here already. And how? Huh. You two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in, not even a nice to see you, jumps right into a we've a curse to lift, there's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. And she went to the guest room to rearrange things through the bed off the balcony. That was a good So bit. where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm-hmm. And Yen? 
Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help, running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. Alright, so let's go help. Oh, we gotta find everybody? We'll do yet. we'll go find Yennefer first. What is... Okay, I was gonna say, what the heck is up with that mini-map telling me where to go? It's rerouting in this game. It takes a... It's weird and it takes some time. It's not like an instant reroute. Alright. And open. Maybe I should have done Yennefer last, but that's alright. <laughs> trying to trying to do Assassin's Creed and climb up shit. Oh, when you play games that have some that have no similar qualities and you try to do something in it. Alright. There's Lambert. Uh, I don't want to talk to him yet, though. Here. Can I just hop this? Yep. Good. Head in here. Where is she? Jeez, dude. Oh my god, she's... Maybe it was a good idea I did her first, since... She's as far away as physically possible. Oh, oh. damn it! You piece of shit! <coughs> Damned crystal! <coughs> you decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood for jests. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm? Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First we must finish our preparations. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid, the other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. Alright, I'll talk to them. Anything else? Yes. There's one other trifling matter. As you saw, my megascope's acting up in rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby, generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Ah, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt. You have a new quest item. Prepare it. Okay. Nothing here. What the hell? Nothing here. That's pretty sweet. Nothing here. Find the source of the magical disturbance. Alright. Should be easy enough. Door open. Let's see, is 
he gonna tell me where to go? Oh, got a signal. Signal's growing stronger. Volunteer to walk around with that chirping stick after all. Shh. Mounted witchering just never took off. is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Alright, let Yennefer know I removed the disturbance. Oh, not what I wanted to do. That's fine, though. I'll just break my legs because I gotta jump off of this thing. Oh, yeah. For being the master... A master warrior. Or a master witcher, I guess. Geralt, your legs are pathetic. You take damage from the stupidest shit. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? You know, Lambert's not exactly an expert on megascopes, so... Please. Lambert is mean, not stupid. But no matter. More importantly, I shall finally be able to contact Ida. The Ida? Elvin Sage? What do you want from her? Stay and you'll learn for yourself. Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kednell Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynglade? Ted Mill in Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Va fel elen, ked mil foli, gled of dawn eptenid bondro isne iachus. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes. In legends, of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us, with the curse? To a degree. 
Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's triangle, inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse, but I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Va fail. That does not conclude our conversation. Let me guess. You want something in return. If I may, Gwynblade, I'd like to request... Stop guessing. Just listen. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age. The time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade, for you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. Huh? All in all, interesting conversation. What now? You can start by apologizing for acting like a boar, despite my asking you not to. I'm sorry. It's just when Ida started in with that patronizing tone. You decided to prove she was completely justified to adopt that attitude. Well done, Geralt. Bravo. Oh, oh, enough. Finish whatever it was you and the boys were planning to do. Then we'll begin. Alright. Back to Ugly Baby. We need to talk to Lambert about journeying to the Circle of Elements, and then we need to find Eskel and help him hunt for the Fork Tail. So, I'm gonna cut the episode here, and the next one we're gonna go hunt the fork tail. I feel like I haven't fought in this game in forever, so I want to do this one so I can actually kill something. So, we'll be doing that in the next episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.